Good morning, Captain. How did, how did the rest of it go? Something like that. You don't want me to say. I, I want you to say. No. Listen, <laughs> for years, for almost 30 years, I said to you every morning, when you said, good morning, I said, good morning, Captain, and they sang it. What did you? They sang it. I said it. <laughs> well, come on. Because <laughs> I really can't remember. Good morning, the Captain. The one talent I don't have is a musical talent. I have an ear that's absolutely impossible. I couldn't possibly. I could sing it for you, but it wouldn't be the song. Right, just do it. Oh, no, you, you did it perfectly. Dee, dee, dee. Well, I can't remember the words. Hum it. Good morning, Captain. Da, 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 da. Something like that. Oh, you do. <laughs> that. He's back on PBS. Now, these programs that we're going to be seeing on ETV are from what? Era for you, Bob. They're generally from 1981 uh, to 84, in that period there, three, three and a half years. Um, and they're, they're edited from what were our shows to, to half hour versions, uh, uh, which uh, I kind of think plays better. Uh, we really have crisped them up quite a bit by taking out a lot of uh, excess material. Did you do the editing yourself? Well, I worked with, uh, with Jimmy Hirschfeld, who is the uh, co executive producer of the program. Who's doing the editing? Yeah. So you're going to have the basic well, ingredients of oh yeah, absolutely, it. absolutely. Where is Mr. Green Jeans? What is he doing these days? He's uh, in Pennsylvania on his uh, on his little uh, farm up. He doesn't have a big farm. He has a little a farm. Farmlet? Well, I mean, you know, when I'm in Nebraska, if I say <laughs> farm, uh, <laughs> this is a farm. Yeah. But for him, uh, he has a little patch where he tends the tomatoes and the eggplants and all that sort of thing. What do you think the biggest problem for children facing children is today? Growing up. I, you know, I think that uh, society has changed, has altered so in so many ways over the last 30 years that uh, the, the, the family and the extended family really uh, doesn't exist to the extent. Of course, it didn't exist everywhere, I realize, but it did exist to, to a far greater extent than it does today. We have more single-parent families than ever before. 20% of our kids live uh, in single-parent households. Um, more worse than that even. 20% of our kids live below the poverty line. That's hard to believe. 25% of our preschoolers, those under six years of age, live below the poverty line in the United States of America. The only Western nation in the hist in history of the world that has made children its principal underclass. So that makes it very, very difficult for kids, for those 20% uh, particularly. Um, and of course, um, uh, we have uh, so many changes in society. Even when we have intact families, uh, we have many more women working outside the home. I don't criticize that because it's a, it's a necessity in, in most cases. But uh, whereas 25 years ago, about 17% of mothers worked outside the home, today uh, two-thirds of our mothers work outside the home. And even a lot of mothers who spend a lot of time at home don't spend very much time with their children. Uh, all of these changes in society and the, the, the busy schedules that parents have and the great pressures that they have, uh, have moved children down in, in terms of priority. So it's very, very easy when we come home in the evening and we're very, very busy and we've had a hard day to say, not now, honey, later. I, you know, I know you want to talk to me, but right now I'm busy. Go watch television. And so television, television is there as a very convenient to use babysitter. So our kids are spending 35 hours a week in front of television. And as we said, not watching children's television, because aside from public television, there is no place where, where children are, are catered to. Well, we welcome you back to television. And I just want to show everybody, this, this dates back a couple of years ago. You remember Calamity Kate, the West Only Lady Sheriff? How can well, we forget? There's the captain and Skipper Chuck and Mr. Wonder. And I must say that I spent five of the best days I ever spent in television at a CBS Children's Workshop with Captain Kangaroo a couple, two or three years ago, right. two or three <laughs> years ago, and we learned a great deal about children's programming. And I want to thank you for yeah. that experience. That was a, that was a wonder. Thank that you. Was a wonder. You still have the diploma, the diploma on your wall? Now? Absolutely. Okay. I have the Captain Kangaroo Cup. Okay. And every morning <laughs> right after our show is over, I say, morning, Captain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Welcome Thanks, back to television. Thank you. Good to on, be back. On PBS. Please stay tuned. We'll be right back as the morning show continues.